It was towards the fourth quarter of the game. In the fourth quarter of the game, I was sitting at the back driver's side rear, outside of the car, watching the TV that was sitting in the tailgate or in the trunk of Piero's truck. Can I interject? No. Thanks. I had a sight line down the driver's side of the car and noticed out of the corner of my eye that someone had fallen at the front of Piero's car. I got up to see what had happened. I noticed there was a large dent in the front of Piero's car. I turned around for whatever reason, and there were actually two police officers on bicycles right behind me. I turned, got their attention. By the time they came back and turned around within a matter of a few seconds, the person who had done the car was gone. I described to the police officers what he looked like. Do you recall what description you gave to the police officers? Tall white guy, about 6'6". Six, six. Had you actually seen him either fall or get up after he fell? No, I saw him at the base of the car. At The dent is right above the front driver's side wheel. And I saw him at basically on the ground right there. When I went to go see what happened, I saw there was a dent in the car. Now, when you went to see what happened, what did this person do? He was still on the ground. He didn't do anything at that point. I noticed there was a dent. And because it wasn't my car, I didn't want to get involved. And I, I had nothing really to do with it. I turned around for whatever reason. There happened to be two police officers there. By the time I got their attention and they came over to me, it was a matter of 10 feet. The person who was at the base of the car was gone at that point. So you yeah. actually saw the face of the person who entered the car? No, I believe I saw their back. Did you describe their clothing? No. Okay, so you saw only the back? Yes. Go ahead. Describe to the police officers what the person looked like. The police officers on the from bicycle. From the back? From the back, yeah. A, basically a tall white guy. And you could tell that from his position on the ground. Yeah, he was, he was a big guy was on the ground. Guy. Okay. Describe to the police officers, they biked around within a, you know, a few cars, 25 yard circle for a minute or so. Didn't see anyone. They came back to where I was at the car and I asked them, I said, can I get a report so I can give it to my friend so he can go to his insurance or whatever he wants to do. While we're in the process of doing this or getting the paperwork, the defendant walks right by us, me and the two police officers, and I told the police officer, I said, that's the guy who fell the car. How did you know that? I recognized his clothing and it looked just like the guy. There was nothing. You didn't see his face. You no, just I saw didn't. him from the back. I so didn't you... see his face, but he, felt, he fit exactly the mold of what I saw there. I didn't see anything that was particularly unique about him, but he happened to walk right by us and he matched the best description that I had that I gave to the police officers. Okay. And in fact, they actually pointed him out to me. They said, is that the guy? And I said, yeah, that's him. Go ahead. So they pulled him over and he attempted to talk to me to resolve the situation. What did he say to you? He said, if I remember correctly, you know, can I pay you right now or how can we get this resolved without getting the police involved? He said to you? Yes, he was trying to speak to me. But he said, can I pay you? Is that what he said? I think that's what he was trying to get. Not trying to get, what did he say? He didn't say pay me, he said, can we resolve this now? But it's not my car, I wasn't in a place to resolve it for Piero. So you said no? I actually told the police officer, I said, I'm not going to speak to him, I'll speak to you. I have nothing to say to him. It's not my car, it's not my place. If you can just get a report so I can give it to Piero and he can deal with it. Fine. And this was the person who you had this brief conversation with subsequent to seeing someone who matched his description on the ground near a dent. Yes. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Michelle just saw the police officer no, take her Michelle off. No, Michelle was with me the whole time. She... That's not true. And even Michelle.